Hello students, welcome to TSET classes. Welcome to the special sessions on TSPSC group 1 prelims. As part of TSPSC group 1 prelims English medium series, we have started a session on Telangana policies and welfare schemes. As part of Telangana policies and welfare schemes, in the last class, we have discussed about health related Telangana policies and schemes. To continue with this topic, that is Telangana policies and welfare schemes, today let us discuss about farmers and agriculture related policies and welfare schemes in Telangana. See, welfare schemes are actually provided by the government for the welfare of certain segments in the society. One or such, such a segment where we need to protect or the government should protect is the farming community. Because if you look at the data, even today, more than 50% of the people in Telangana are in agriculture sector. Although it consumes or it contributes to lesser GDP, but more people are in agriculture sector. And coming to the geography of Telangana, we are a Deccan Plateau region. So, it is very important for the government to provide water facilities, finance facilities, electricity to the farmers for better growth of and development of these farmers. And so the reason the government of Telangana has recognized the importance of farmers related welfare schemes and after 2014 there are enormous, enormous schemes launched by Telangana government for this purpose. Today in this class let us see all the schemes one by one which are important for TSPSC group 1 prelims. We will look into these schemes with the help of certain objective type questions. And after each objective type questions, if required, we will also look into certain data. So, let us continue to start with, let us see. One of the most prestigious project of Telangana government is Right to Bandhu scheme. And the question is about Right to Bandhu. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to Right to Bandhu scheme. Statement number one, Rait Bandhu scheme is also called Farmer Investment Support Scheme. Rait Bandhu, Bandhu means a friend, friend to the farmer. Government is a friend to the farmer by supporting them financially. Government is a friend to the farmer by supporting them financially. This is correct. Statement number one is correct. Look at statement number two. The scheme is not applicable to farm laborers, but it is applicable to farm owners. This is also correct. One of the loophole of this scheme is those who actually do agriculture, you know, those who are called farm laborers. This scheme does not support financially to them, but this scheme supports the farm owners. Imagine there is a person who is living in New York City. He owns 50 acres of land in Telangana. And this 50 acres of land is given to lease to a farmer. And that farmer is doing farming. Is not provided any financial support by the government under this scheme. But in fact, but the fact is that a person who, who is the owner of that 50 acres land who is in New York City in USA is given financial support. This is one of the loophole in the scheme. But let us see some more points in relation to Rait Bandhu scheme launched in Telangana state. So the answer for this is C, both the statements are correct. Now look at the, some other details of this scheme. If you look at this, I know, I hope you can see this person is a farmer here. This is the official logo. This is the official logo of Raitu Bandhu scheme. Panta Pettubadi Maddatu Sahayam or 
పథకము దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇట్ సెట్స్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఫార్మర్స్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ సపోర్ట్ స్కీమ్ ఓకే నా లుక్ ఎట్ ది ఫస్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ద స్కీమ్ వాస్ అనౌన్స్డ్ బై సీఎం ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ కె కల్వకుంట్ల చంద్రశేఖర్ రావు గారు ఎట్ ఫార్మర్స్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ కమిటీ దట్ ఈస్ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ రైతు సమన్వయ సమితి దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ కాల్ రైతు సమన్వయ సమితి ఫార్మర్స్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ కమిటీ ఇన్ దిస్ కమిటీ ద తెలంగాణ సీఎం కలువకుల చంద్రశేఖర్ రావు గారు హస్ అనౌన్స్డ్ ది స్కీమ్ కాల్ రైతు బంధు స్కీమ్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వాస్ ఎల్డేట్ జయశంకర్ అగ్రికల్చర్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆన్ ట్వంటీ ఫిఫ్త్ ఫిబ్రవరి టూ థౌసండ్ ఎయిటీన్ very very important for the exam this scheme of raitu bandhu was announced by cm ksr at a agriculture university or a farmers university on 25th february 2018 and in 2022 23 budget see 2022 23 state budget 14800 crores was allocated for this scheme called raitu bandhu a total of 14800 crores was allocated for the scheme in 2022 budget for the financial year 2022-23 now look at the third point now this scheme was launched on 10th may 2018 at dharmanjal palli village in karim nagar karim nagar district remember this for the exam very very important the scheme was announced the scheme was announced by cm ksr garu on february 25th 2018 on the same year or in the same year in the month of may 10th may 2018 the scheme was launched at dharma dharmanjali palli village in karim nagar district when launched the support to the farmers was only 8000 per acre given in two installments and this was increased in 2019-20 to 10000 per year in two installments on 10th may 2018 this scheme was launched when this scheme was launched in 2018 according to this scheme 8000 rupees per acre to a farmer will be given in an year and this 8000 rupees will be given in two installments karif and rabi season 4000 plus 4000 in two installments in a year for one acre of land to a farmer but later on from 2019-20 financial year the amount of the financial support by the government of telangana increased from 8000 to 10000 per acre in a year in two installments given in two installments that is 5000 plus 5000 5000 is given in the first installment rabi or karif and the second one is rabi or karif again in 5000 rupees in second installment so when launched the amount the financial support promised was only 8000 rupees per acre in a an year and later it was increased to 10000 rupees in a an year per acre to a farmer see there is no cap on the farm holdings that is the point to be noted there is no cap there is no minimum cap on the farm holdings so far 50448 crores was transferred to 63 lakh farmers so far 50448 crores has been transferred to 63 lakh farmers see there is no limit there is no limit on the land holding there is no limit on the land holding okay let's look at the next question but before that please remember all the points this was announced by cm ksr in 2018 february but launched on 10th may at karim nagar district dharmapuri rajapalli village as on today 63 lakh farmers has benefited from this scheme when launched the scheme intend to give 8000 rupees only but now 10000 rupees is given per acre in two installments in a year 
Okay, let's look at the next question. Consider the following and choose incorrect statement with regards to right to BMA scheme. BMA is insurance. Farmers insurance scheme. Which of the following is incorrect? It is a scheme which is launched on 14th August 2018. See, after, see, 10th May 2018, right to Bandhu was launched. Exactly few months, May, June, July, August. Exactly three months after, right to Bandhu, right to Bhima was launched on 14th August 2018. This is correct statement. The objective is to provide group life insurance for farmer's family in case of a death of the farmer, correct. So this is a life insurance policy. See if a farmer die because of any reason, a support of up to 5 lakh rupees is given under right to Bhima to the farmer's family. Farmers in the age group of 18 to 60 years are eligible for this scheme. This is wrong statement because I want everyone to remember this for the exam. Farmers with the age group of 18 to 59 years are eligible under this scheme. This scheme is provided by government with the help of LIC, Life Insurance Corporation. See, those who have registered under right to Bandhu are given right to Bhima scheme as well. The government will pay the premium of up to 5 lakh rupees per family on that farmer that is a life insurance scheme to the LIC, Life Insurance Corporation. LIC is the channel partner to implement this scheme. Very, very important for the exam. So, Right to Bhima was launched on 14th August 2018. So, see, maybe that is an auspicious day, so the scheme has been launched. It was launched from midnight, 14 midnight, but it was launched, not launched on 15th August. So, many people think that that is wrong, 14th August is wrong. But that is correct. Next one. Let us see some more points regarding right to Bhima. The main objective is of the farmer group life insurance scheme, that is right to Bhima, is to provide financial relief and social security to the farmers, to the family members, dependents, in case of the loss of the farmer's life due to any reason. See, due to any reason is important. And also, what is another name for right to Bhima? Two points are important in this. Point number one. Right to Bhima is also called Farmer's Group Life Insurance Scheme. Whenever a farmer died due to any reason, a file lakh cover is given to the family members. The entire premium, the entire premium is paid by the government to the Life Insurance Corporation, that is the largest public sector, PSU, for insurance in India. I told you this before also. In the event of the death of the enrolled farmer due to any cause, due to any cause, including the natural death, the insured will get 5 lakh rupees, approximately 6,928 US dollars, in, is deposited into the designated nominee within 10 days. Remember this for the exam. If the farmer died due to any reason, it may be a natural cause also. The family of that farmer or the nominee of that farmer, the account of that nominee will be getting 5 lakh rupees in 10 days. This scheme has been implemented through the information technology with the development of online portals and MIS developed by National Informatics Center. Remember this. Next one. Uh, very important, Amma. Very important. Try to remember this. The uniqueness of this scheme is that the nominee is not required to approach any office for the settlement. The outreach officers at the village level collect data from revenue department in the event of the loss of life of any farmer and submit it to the LIC on behalf of designated nominee of the farmer. Designated nominee of the farmer. See, no person of that deceased family is supposed to come to any office. There is an outreach officer who goes to that family, 
take the details, give it to LIC, LIC will deposit 5 lakh rupees. That is the scheme. Six point. The claim amount would be transferred through RTGS into nominee's account within 10 days. Within 10 days. Remember this. Till now, 75,501 families were benefited under this scheme. A total of 1,466 crores have been allocated for this scheme in 2022 budget. Remember this for the exam. A total of 1,466 crores have been allocated for this scheme in 2022 budget. Is I hope this is clear. Okay. Now let's look. Okay. Try to understand this. Consider the following and choose which of the following is correct with regards to Telangana Food Processing Policy 2021. See, Government of Telangana has launched this scheme called Telangana Food Processing Policy of 2021. Now, the question is all about to choose which of the following statements is correct. Under this policy, the government proposed to establish 10 food processing units in Telangana by 2024-25 in 10,000 acres. Absolutely correct statement. Under this scheme, a power subsidy of rupees 2 per unit is provided for 5 years. This is also correct. Both the statements are correct. Both the statements are correct. Now, look at some more points with regards to this scheme. Okay? Try to understand this. The new Telangana Food Processing Policy of 2021 aims at creating 75,000 direct employment and 3 lakh indirect jobs. The target investment for this Telangana food processing policy is 25,000 crores. No market fee will be imposed for 7 years. Remember this. 75% subsidy in interest over the loan amount up to 2 crores is given by the government. Okay. And fifth one, 75% plus additional plus additional 10% is given to SC, ST, minority women entrepreneurs who start the Telangana food processing units. So, total 75 percent subsidy for up to 2 crores loan for people who start this Telangana food processing units, 85 percent subsidy for SC, ST, minority and women is given. Now, I want everyone to remember this one and also this one. No market fee will be imposed for 7 years. Or direct question can be asked, when did Telangana food processing policy started by Telangana government in the year 2021? According to this, by 2024, there is a target, there is a target to establish 10 food processing units in Telangana. That is a point. Telangana government has launched which scheme for easy registration and mutation of land records. See, I am not talking about Dharani portal. Dharani portal is a blockchain technology used technology where transparency over land data is given. The question is all about while you go to registration office in MRO or SRO, sub register office or Mandal Revenue office in case of agriculture lands, what is the technology used by that officers? to register your lands and also for mutation purpose. Land record purification scheme, no. Uh, Runa Mafi scheme, no. None of the above cannot be the answer. Answer is Sada Bani Namma scheme. Remember this for the exam. Sada Bani Namma scheme was launched by government of Telangana. This is a kind of software where uh, for mutation and registration purpose this software is used. Okay? So, this is important. Consider the following and choose the correct with regards to free power supply to the farmers in Telangana. See, Telangana is a state where 100 percent accurately 24 7 power supply is given to the farmers. With regards to that, which of the following statements is correct? This is one expected objective type question for the exam. Government has launched fee power supply to all farmers 24-7 from 1st January 2018. Correct statement. 
from 1st January 2018, Government of Telangana has launched this free power supply 24 7, 24 uh, uh, hours, 7 days, 365 days power supply to all the farmers. Telangana stands first in agriculture power consumption with 41 percent, absolutely correct statement. Both the statements are correct. I want everyone to remember this. This can be asked for your exam. With 41 percent of power consumption, Telangana stands first in agriculture power consumption. Consider the following and choose which of the following is correct with regards to it. Raitu Vedika, Raitu Vedika. See, Raitu Vedikas, whenever you, you grow on a countryside, whenever you travel from one village to one village or another village, on left or right, right hand side, before entering a village or after the village has been crossed, you see a, a building called Raitu Vedika. And these Raitu Vedikas are the place for the farmers to come and discuss and solve their problems. These places are government places or maybe donated by any landlord. This is an off acre land where Raitu Vedikas are built. Now look at this. Raitu Vedika is an initiative to bring farmers under one platform and help them attain higher returns. Correct. See, all farmers come together, they talk business, they also know avenues for selling of their crops. So, that helps in farmers get more returns. The government plans to construct as many as 2601 Raitu Vedikas in the state. Absolutely correct. The Vedikas are built in off acre land. Correct. Both or three statements are correct. Answer is 1 to 3. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to sheep distribution scheme in Telangana. Sheep distribution scheme. One expected bid for the exam. One expected area where a question can be asked. The government has launched the sheep distribution scheme for Yadava and Kurma communities. Correct. As on today, right, or the proposed 42 lakh sheep will be distributed in 2022 financial year as per the budget 2022. As per the socio-economic survey of budget 2022, 40 lakh sheep will be distributed to Kurma and Yadava communities. Both the statements are correct. Both the statements are correct. Let us see some more points with regards to sheep distribution system. Statement number one. Under the sheep distribution scheme, 75% subsidy is given to Kurma and Yadava community. Meaning, if the cost of the sheep is 1000 rupees, 750 rupees is given by government, 250 will be given by the person who take or purchase the sheep. Now, important number, who will decide the beneficiary and how they are distributed, very very important. A three member comprising of veterinary doctor, MDO and MRO identify the beneficiaries in each, each village, identify the beneficiaries in the villages. In a village, a beneficiary is identified by a veterinary doctor, MDO and MRO. Okay, This can be asked. The beneficiary must complete 18 years of age and registered with cooperative society. See, cooperative societies are formed as per article 43B of the constitution. Every, every village or group of villages has a cooperative society and this person has to be a registered member there. All the people of cooperative societies raise funds and also there is a, that is a business avenue where market is provided by different people, by different people. The second phase of this scheme is implemented on July 28th, 2018 at Jemmikunta Karim Nagar. A total of 3.5 lakh units are distributed. Remember this, this scheme was started on July 28th, 2021. Right. This year it is yet to start, but last year, July 28th, 2021, Jammi Kunta Karim Nagar, the sheep distribution scheme was launched. Uh, this is all about your sheep distribution scheme. This is all about sheep distribution scheme. See, agriculture as a prominent sector in Telangana is very important for our exam. This is for two reasons. Reason number one, 
more number of people in Telangana have their livelihood from agriculture. Two, Telangana is a state where few products are cropped and distributed to throughout the country. So for that purpose, please don't neglect this area of agriculture for your exam. Please revise this class again, make notes. All the points discussed in the class are important. I'll see you guys again in the next class with another Telangana social sector schemes. Till then, happy learning, keep learning. Jai Hind.